Hey, how's it going? DeAndre Jones here from Become a Free Runner. Today we're going over the palm flip. Don't forget, if you like this tutorial and you want to see more like this in the future, hit that subscribe button. I'll put it right here. Let's get started. Now the palm flip's really cool because it's unlike any wall trick that you usually see. Usually you see people do wall flips, maybe inward flips, but instead of doing, you know, putting your foot on the wall and going into a back flip, you're just placing your hands on the wall, using that as leverage to propel you in the air and go into the back flip. And although it may look a little bit different than most of your usual wall tricks, it's actually very easy, especially once you get the back tuck down. Now, if you haven't gotten the back tuck, made a tutorial on that, I'll put it right here. And if you need to just get started from ground level, this whole series is meant for anyone to be able to just pick up the back flip and learn how to master it. So you can start with the back handspring. I'll put the link in the description as well. Now let's go. The only place you really need to practice on is a wall. You wanna find a wall that's, you know, brick, grippy, and that can support your weight because you're gonna be pushing off into the back flip. Now, whenever you get ready to do this, the only real intimidating factor in this is most people are just too afraid to actually go touch the wall and go into the back flip. So even though it'd be a lot lower, I would suggest trying to do it standing. And if you still can't get the confidence, what I've seen some people do is just try to do a back tuck close to the wall. So make sure you're a little bit wider than arms length and then just go for a back tuck. Now I have to remind you for safety reasons, <clears throat> since it's harder for you to get that swing in, your back flip's gonna be a little bit lower and you might be a little bit more intimidated being close to the wall. But if, if you're just afraid of you know just touching the wall, it's best just to try to do the back tuck standing near the wall. After that, you're gonna wanna take it one step back and just go into the palm flip. Now let me show you the technique of going into it. So basically, you wanna go off a punch technique. So you wanna go gather your steps together, punch and jump. And besides setting and swinging your arms, you still, you still set and swing your arms, except the top of your set is gonna end at the wall. And wherever you put your hand on the wall, that's basically how high you're gonna be. So if you jump and your arms are right here in front of you, and you go for the back flip, that is how high your back flip's gonna be. So you're gonna to want to jump and place your hands above your head as you go into the flip. Another problem I see with other people doing it is when they jump, they jump and their arms give in, thinking that they have to give in with their arms and then push into the back flip. That's not necessarily the case. Yes, you do wanna push, but when you jump into it, you kinda wanna have your arms almost as stiff as possible, maybe with like a slight bend, just enough to rebound off the wall. Now this might hurt your palm a little bit, but you're gonna feel like a little bit of like, uh, a push and you're gonna just try to resist that push against the wall and what I would suggest doing whenever you get ready to try to do the palm flip to do testers you know timers or whatever is to jump and just touch the wall but keep your arms as stiff as possible and kind of feel that that resistance against the wall just like that now for a lot of you you'll start jumping resisting against the wall and you'll feel your body almost lean back and you'll kind of like some people like they even fall land on their heels they fall on the ground just, just from so much power and that's where the momentum comes from it comes from that resistance against the wall except for whenever your body resists and you start to lean back you go into that tuck another key element to the palm flip is figuring out how close you want to be before you actually jump just like what we did in the back tuck when i said your arms are slightly uh further away from the wall than arms reach that's where you wanna jump. You wanna jump into the wall from that angle. If you jump too close, you're not gonna give your arms enough room to make that, you know, that stiff lock motion. You won't be able to get that resistance from the wall. And if you jump too far, you'll be reaching for the wall and not resisting off of it to do the back flip. With all those key elements in mind, you're ready to start the palm flip. And like I said, if you're afraid to touch the wall, you wanna stand slightly like further than arm's length, go into a back tuck, after you've gotten comfortable with that, you want to take one step back and work on punching and just throwing your arms into the wall and resisting. Whenever you jump and you feel that tug and you start to lean back, whenever you feel comfortable, you want to jump, resist against the wall, lean back, and that is your set. From that point, you bring your knees to your chest and it's just like a back tug, okay? And I want to give you guys a demonstration. So, set, arms slightly further than the wall, go for a back tug. Well, after that, okay, you're gonna step where you were when you did the back tuck. You're gonna take one step back, work on your punching technique. After you've done that a few times and you feel that resistance against the wall, well, as soon as you feel comfortable, you wanna go, jump, set, resist against the wall, and commit to the flip. The most important thing to do whenever you're going for any type of flip 
is no matter what happens to commit to that rotation. If you try to stop yourself mid-air, that's when you hurt yourself. So let me give you an example. Here, take one step back and then go into the pompa. Like I said before, doing a palm flip with just one step into it is gonna make your palm flip not as high and not as clean as you want it to be, but it'll get you over the fear of going to that palm flip. After that, you're gonna actually wanna put a little bit of a jog into it, a little bit of a light run, and get as much height as possible. Again, the higher you set your arms, the higher your back loop's gonna be. And the higher your back loop's gonna be, the safer you are with landing. So you wanna actually take a couple steps back. You don't need a run, just a slight jog into it. And you do the exact same thing. If you see yourself getting closer to the wall, punch, jump, resist against the wall. Whenever you feel that pull to go backwards, you go into the back foot. Let me give you an example. Okay, so that'll be the palm flip tutorial. Super quick, super easy. Shouldn't take you that long to get. Just make sure you have your basics down. And you have at least a back handspring or a back tuck and you're comfortable going over your head. Um, don't forget if you like this tutorial, if you want to see more like this in the future, hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to like, comment the next video you want to see. I read them all, and if I can do it, I'm definitely going to teach it. But until then, train hard, be safe, catch you in the next video. Peace.